If or not learners are safe in school is a debate that elicited mixed reactions at the Parliament Health Committee today, with members of the committee seeking answers as to what informed the resumption of schools amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. But what we are seeing in the cabinet secretary education, we are seeing a bully, we are seeing a dictator, we don't see any leadership. And he has to apologize to those government officials that he abused. Education Principal Secretary Belio Kipsang, who appeared before the committee, affirmed that the decision was informed by the Ministry of Health after the country recorded a positivity rate of less than 5% as required to flatten the curve. Then, and with better management and with personal responsibility, that within the next two months the situations will be better and that we may be able to give an opportunity to our children to be able to progress with their lives. Belio has, however, faulted parents and members of the public who are flouting MOH COVID-19 rules, saying that most of the infections transmitted to learners originate from contact from parents and adults. But I can say that our school environment is a safer environment for our children. It is a regulated environment. One thing that we are denying and that we are not telling ourselves is that when we leave our houses, in the mornings to go to where we are going, either in business or in offices or wherever that we are going, is that we are not sure where, where our children go to immediately we leave our houses. They go out there to play in the field. They are in an environment that is not regulated and they are exposed. Meanwhile, Education Cabinet Secretary Professor George Magoha, who toured Chemudeke Primary School in Machakos County, said that the government was keen to ensure that all learners resume learning after nearly a year break, saying that they will deliberate and come up with an inclusive examination timetable and education roadmap for next year. Continued to provide infrastructure development to schools, both in primary school and secondary school. So the CS further noted that at least 75% of schools have received the new learners' desks, even as the ministry settles on a feeding program in selected schools in the slums where children will be provided with fortified porridge. Digina Magundu, K24 Evening Edition.